that they've taken the single player elements to this whole nother level with things like the challenge tower and story mode, which is oh, yeah, easily the design section yeah. of our review. I was just like sitting there with my mouth hanging open. I was it's like, a ton of things. Gosh, man, how much they put in there. And they've yeah. done that in the past. They had mm-hmm. these corny little action adventure things, but they were always yeah. half, like, I think they had a They're all half racing and a chess game and yeah. a, a puzzle Tetris. game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was clearly a case of where they just wanted to put as much shit as possible. But here, like every single thing matters and every single thing is fun. Like, that's what counts. You could not even care about playing online that much and still have a ton of fun and lots of quality time and replayability playing offline just because they put so much good stuff there. Now, the campaign looks pretty campy. It is, Is it yeah. campy good or campy bad? I think it's campy great. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, how about this? Uh, when I first popped in the game, um, I as soon as story mode started, people would just start like lining up behind me and just watching it. And like, what game can you say sustains a person's interest you if know? they're not playing? No, no, a, yeah. fight, a fighting game, yeah. exactly. Well, I mean, like the, much you know, less a fighting game. Yeah. Right? Now this just feels like it feels like the way Mortal Kombat should be, and it it's you know they, they had so many missteps in the past. I really liked um, MK versus DC, mm-hmm. but it, it was so held back by the teen rating. And this time, I mean, just watching you know, I, I sat and watched you play, and then Justin play, and it, it, they also you know the way they bring the newbies into it with the training sessions and you know yeah. they actually give you some of the fatalities to start off with so you can learn the combos and how to position yourself it's just a very smart polished product perhaps it doesn't do anything ultra new but everything it does do it does to such a high level how's the net code uh the net code is really good and actually one thing i really like about this uh that not a whole lot of other fighting games do is with the king of the hill mode which i mentioned in the review and for those that haven't seen it yet, it's basically uh, when you start up a player room, um, there's like a little frame that goes around the main gameplay screen that shows everyone's avatars kind of watching the match as you're participating in it. And it's really cool because uh, not only can you talk in voice chat and reflect in real time like what's happening, but also you can have your little avatar like do thumbs up. You can give them a rating after they've Do people the actually do that? Do they sit oh, yeah. and watch other people's oh, matches? Totally. They do. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. It. It's actually one. It's, it's like right. MST3K kind of, right? Yeah, exactly. It's um, it's really funny too because if, if you do like say a cool combo, people will like you know cheer and do thumbs up just to kind of cheer you on. Or if you know you're cheesing, you're spamming the same move over and over again, people will start to boo. <laughs> so you can kind of you can kind of guess like what the audience is feeling based on the match, which kind of adds like a nice layer of interactivity to it on both sides that's the mark of a good game though where people can sit I mean you can sit yeah. and watch a fighting game yeah. and watch it you know different characters you know over and over and just have fun watching that's a sign of a fucking good game now, it, ha- it has a lot of good content and I know that yeah I mean in-